In this video, I'm going to show you how I primed and painted a 3D printed figure of Yuri from the game Doki Doki Literature Club. This model was made by Printed Obsession on MyMiniFactory.com. He did an awesome job, so definitely check some of his stuff out. To start this process, I'm taking the raw 3D print and sanding it down with progressively higher grit sandpaper, starting at 200 grit. As you can see, there is a lot of imperfections from the printing process, and we want to get the print as smooth as possible before we move on to the next step. As I'm going through and sanding different parts, I'm also filling larger holes with spackle, which I'm then sanding smooth. Please forgive some of the camera work here, I was trying a few different angles and techniques with my GoPro to get the best shot. Here is a shot of Yuri's hair after applying some spackle and sanding it down. I forgot to mention earlier, it's always important to wear a mask when sanding. There will be plastic and spackle dust everywhere, which can be bad for your lungs. Here I'm just going back in with the sandpaper to get the hair extra smooth. And then sanding the base. You'll see that the model is getting kind of scuffed up and cloudy. This is fine because we're going to paint all over this later. To sand Yuri's face, I'm actually going in with a nail file. I learned from Punish Props that nail files are about 200 grit and are great for getting small details. I also went in with some normal files to try to sand every nook and cranny. You can see these spots where the model will connect later. These are actually a tad large and didn't fit exactly right, so I'm sanding those two to get them to fit correctly. This takes some work, but eventually they fit together quite nicely. So off camera, after everything was sanded, I gave it a coat of Rust Oleum's 2-in-1 filler primer and sanded that almost entirely off. This is to ensure everything was as smooth as possible. So this next part I still haven't perfected, but I've experimented with using fast drying two-part epoxy cement thinned with a tiny amount of 91% isopropyl alcohol as a smooth coating for PLA plastic 3D prints. I mixed the two together using a toothpick and painted it onto the model with a paintbrush. One large batch didn't work out so well as it dried up unevenly because I mixed in too much alcohol, so I started making very small batches instead. After coating everything evenly, I sprayed all of the parts with a matte wipe spray paint primer combo from Valspar. This may have caused some problems later with chipping once I started painting. So I would advise maybe skipping this step and doing another layer of automotive filler primer instead, or a layer of airbrushing primer. Now we get to the fun part, painting! This is my first time using an airbrush, and it took a lot of trial and error to figure out the basics, like thinning paints, getting the PSI correct, cleaning the brush when it clogged, etc. For the most part, I used Apple Barrel paints and Folk Art Plaid paints from Walmart and Michaels. I made my own thinner with Liquitex Matte Medium, Flow Aid, and a little distilled water. This worked pretty well, but I would still get paint buildup on the tip of the airbrush. I made my own cleaner with distilled water, ammonia-free Windex, and isopropyl alcohol. Yuri's hair was pretty easy to paint. I mixed a few shades of purple to get the right color. An important part of the painting process was masking. Masking is when you block off an area you don't want to be painted. I used blue tack for this as it molds well to different shapes. I recommend using Loctite brand blue tack as it's a little stiffer than other blue tack brands and won't stick irreversibly to your model. Masking is a tedious process that took ages to do but was worth it in the end, especially for larger parts like Yuri's torso. 
Yuri's blazer was a challenge because it's kind of a weird color. I mixed some purples, grays, and browns to get the right shade. You can really see how novice I am here because my paint was a little watery and started spider webbing. Luckily, it started to look okay as it dried. I used a few techniques to paint Yuri's book. I first painted it red by hand. Apple Barrel paints really show brush strokes, so I had to thin my paint a little. And then off camera, I did a wash of darker red with paint mixed with some water and isopropyl alcohol. I then added some details with black paint, such as the lines and the outline around the eye. Later I'll go in with some acrylic gloss over the eye. I also painted the skin tone, white areas, and Yuri's bow. Now it's time to paint Yuri's legs. I used the same skin tone as earlier. While the legs were drying, I decided to give everything a good cover of matte varnish mixed with a little flow aid to seal my work. Here's how the legs turned out after removing the masking from the skirt. This camera picks up the color a little bit better. I then masked off the rest of Yuri's legs and began to paint her skirt. This is how everything looked with the masking removed. I decided not to paint over the white primer for the tights, as I really liked the way the color looked already. Next it was time to paint the base. I opted for a dark purple color. Time to paint Yuri's face. I was really nervous about this part, as faces can really make or break a model. I think my first attempt came out pretty decent, but I definitely could have improved. First, I added whites to Yuri's eyes with a toothpick. I cleaned up the edges with a Q-tip. I then added some blushing to Yuri's lips, using hard chalk pastels that I shaved into a dust and applied with a paintbrush. If I needed to intensify the color, I would wet the paintbrush. I also added some blushing to the lids of Yuri's eyes, and then gray to the inside of her eyes to tone down the white a bit. To add some detail, I used watercolor pencils and dark brown shades to add definition to Yuri's eyes. To paint her pupils, I first used some dark purple pastel powder. I then went in with a purple watercolor pencil to darken the color. I also added her eyebrows at this point. Then I went in with a black pencil to retrace the outline of Yuri's eyes and make the tops of her pupils a bit darker. As a final touch to Yuri's face, I added some subtle blushing to her cheeks and darkened the areas around her hair. I added some light purple pastels to Yuri's hair clip as well. There were a few final touches I added to Yuri with pastels, such as the blue toes of her shoes and her brown vest. I also added some blood splatter onto the base with some watered down red paint. Last but not least, I added some gloss to Yuri's eyes and lips, as well as the eye on her book. After gluing, this is the final result. 